everyone, this is Maria, and today I'm going to show you how to recycle, how to upcycle a golden book into an art journal. It's super simple, so let's get started. This is what you're going to need. You're going to need a package of drawing paper. I found this package at our local craft store. It has 200 sheets. It measures 9 inches by 12 inches. You'll also need a crafting mat, a paper cutter, some scissors, a pencil, a ruler, and an X-Acto knife. And I'll be using a Zutter Bind It All machine, some 3 quarter inch black wires, a round it all to round the corners of my pages, and some wire cutters. Now if you don't own a Zutter Bind It All machine, that's alright because you can still make this book with 1 inch book rings and a paper punch. So the first thing I did was I made seven stacks of paper. These are our pages, and there's five pages in each stack. Okay, so each stack has five sheets of paper, and so when we cut them, we'll end up with ten pages, and so then we're going to put them into smaller stacks. So let's go ahead. Now my cutter, my paper cutter, will only cut four pages at a time, and so I'm going to do the four. Now remember the paper is 9 by 12, so we want to cut it right in half, so we're going to go to the number 6 here. This is a really easy uh, way to measure it here. You can cut the paper by hand also. And so, see, we just cut that in half, and I'm going to put it over to the side so we have 8 sheets of paper there, 8 pages. I'm going to go right up to the 6 again, and just right in half. And so we have right here, the 10 sheets, which is 10 pages. So this is the nice, neat stack you're going to end up with. So now the next thing we're going to do, because the pages uh, measure 6 by 8, and so since this is 9 inches, we need to take an inch off the bottom. So to cut off the 1 inch, I'm going to slide my paper in this way, and there's a number 1 right here. And so that's what I'm going to do. You can also, and see there's a line here to follow. That's why I love this cutter, you guys. And so, let me just pull that up there. There we go. So that should measure 8 inches. And it sure does. Okay, so I'm going to cut the rest of these and I'll be right back. So we have our two stacks of paper all cut. And so now let's take apart the book. These are my two golden books that I'm going to use to make my art journals. So now we're going to take apart the book and take the pages out. And so it's really pretty simple. You're going to need an X-Acto knife here and a ruler. For this part, you are going to be using the X-Acto knife, so you want to be very careful not to cut your fingers, so be sure to take your time. And if you're a child, please ask an adult to help you with this part. So let's go ahead and take the book apart. What I do is I go ahead and see there's a crease here. You'll see when you open the book right there, that crease. I'm just going to line up my ruler. I like using a metal ruler, and that's just my preference. And I'm just going to line that up there, and I'm going to take my X-Acto knife. Now, also be careful, because my X-Acto knife will become loose, and the blade will fall out, so just be very careful and be aware of that. And so I'm going to do that, line that up, and I'm going to hold this down, put a little pressure on here. Now watch your fingers. As you notice, my fingers aren't up here, they're back here. So I'm just going to put my X-Acto knife at the bottom edge here, and I'm going to put some pressure but be very careful, do it slowly and take your time. There. And sometimes I run it through again just to make sure I get down into those pages. Okay. And so let's see, we could take the cover off. So see the cover comes right off. It's a nice clean cut. And then you could see the first page comes off very nicely. And so, oops, I just noticed there's like a little cut up here, but that's okay. We'll just go ahead and leave that there. And then we're going to, let's see, I don't think the pages, oh yes, those came off too. So let's go ahead and do that, and let's see if any of the others will come off. That one, you can see it's partially off. So I'm going to use my X-Acto knife again and my ruler. And just go down. And again, okay, and be sure to keep your pages in order. Let's see if that comes out this time. No, it doesn't. So I'm going to see if I can get that. It's a little stubborn. There we go. And I'm going to flip that page over because I don't want to lose its place. And you can see there's little scraps there. Now I'm going to use my ruler again. 
and just keep repeating this until you get all the pages out. Okay. Oh yay, those came out easily. Okay, so you can see the spine of the book just came off and that's good. So let's go ahead and remove the ruler and let's go ahead and flip these pages. Okay, and so we have the back of the book and so I'm going to put the front and the back together and keep them together until I'm ready to use them. And then with the pages, I also want to be sure to keep these together. Now remember I showed you that little corner because you're going to get imperfections in these books. Some of the pages, if you find these books at the thrift store, you'll find um, children that have written their names inside the book. You know, I really think that makes the books more special and give them character. This one came off really easy. I mean, I just went down three times with my X-Acto knife and it just popped off. So that's awesome. And so I'm going to remove the cover. Oh, I wanted to show you. This one has writing on the inside. <laughs> I think that's cute. So, you know, I really like that. So don't let that deter you because look how pretty this cover is. And so I'm going to flip the pages over. I want to keep them in order. Just want to look at them really quick. These are so cute. I love golden books. Look at this picture. And this is a great way to save the art. You keep the story inside the journal. Okay, so I'm going to put these together. And if you want, you can clean up the edges if you'd like to do that. And so I think I will do that. I'm just going to clean up these edges right here because they're a little rough. And be very careful again with your fingers. And I just want to make that a little bit cleaner. There we go. See how much cleaner that is? The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to round the corners of the front cover and the back cover. Just this side, not this side over here. The side that you open. And then I'm going to round the pages also of the book pages. And after that, I'm going to round all of the pages that go inside the book. Okay, it's super simple. You just get your zutter, round it all, and you put the corner of your book in here. Hope you can see that. And then you just press, and then you do the other side. See how pretty that looks? And so it really gives it a nice clean look. And so let's go ahead and do the back. Now be careful, you wanna make sure that you do, let's see, because this is going to be the part that's bound. So you wanna make sure you do this side. And a way that you can keep track, because you know, I made a few of these where things were backwards, upside down, you know, so. But I have so many golden books, I can always replace the back. I just pick up these books whenever I see them at thrift stores, you know, and swap meets, flea markets. And so I'm gonna go ahead and round all the corners of the books, the pages, and I'll be right back. So I wanna show you how simple it is to round the corners of the pages of the book with the uh, Zutter rounded all. So it's super simple. So just put it in here and you can do all 10 pages at one time, which is great because with my paper cutter, I can only do four. Watch, this is so cool. Isn't that neat? I really love this. So let's go ahead and put these together. Okay, so let's go ahead and bind the book with the Zutter Bind It All. I love this Bind It All machine, you guys. It was so worth the money. And so I'm going to take the covers and I already counted the pages. There are 11 pages and then we have 70 drawing pages. So some of the pages we'll have to put like double up. So you're going to have this little thing back here and it's gonna help balance this out when you're using it. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to slide my book cover in here into this slot and I'm going to pull the lever back, okay? And you can see the little holes that it's going to make and it's going to make six little holes with, let's see, let me just pull it back. There it is, isn't that really cool? And so then I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to do the same thing. And then we're going to do the same thing with the paper and the pages and line them all up. Okay, just wanna make sure it's just right there at the edge. And also make sure you hold this down because it might flip up and then release it and then remove it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I did the wrong side. Here I'm telling you guys to be careful and I goofed. So this is supposed to be on the inside and I thought I was looking at it carefully, but I guess not. 
So you know what I did? I just went and grabbed another golden book because like I said, I have a whole tub of them. And so, but anyway, so now I have it lined up correctly. I can't believe I did that. So let's go ahead and toss this one aside. So now we're going to do the same thing to our pages. So I'm just gonna grab a few pages and I'm going to line them up. Now with the pages, they're, they're more flexible, you can see. And so let me see if I could maybe put a few more. I think I can do a few more because that cover is very thick. And so let's do a few more. And so you want to hold it there and you want to hold on to it. And let's hope that these turn out okay. Okay, so those turned out nice. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side. Holding it down. And those came out really good too. So let's go ahead and do the others. Holding them down. See, they're kind of flexible, so you want to make sure that you hold it down. And those came out okay. But I have had them before where they just were at the edge. And I go, oh no, but that's okay. You know, because if that happens, you don't have to use all the pages from the, uh, the artwork from the book. There we go, yay! Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing with the paper, okay? And you know, your paper may not be perfect, but that's all right. And so we're gonna do the same thing here. And we can do the 10 pages at a time. So remember to put this back part out because that really helps to balance this uh, little machine too. Okay, so that turned out nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all the pages. I'll be right back. Okay, so we have all of our paper done and our book. And I wanna show you one thing on the Zutter Bind It All. It's got a little door here on the side and you can see all the little, the little pellets that come out from uh, putting the holes in your paper. And so, okay, let's put the book together. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your wire, your black zutter wire, and this is three quarter of an inch that I like to use. And you're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, because we have six holes that we made. And so we're going to do it on both sides, okay? And so you're gonna take your wire cutter, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and you're just going to snip, see right here, you're just gonna snip right in the middle. And so we're just going to snip that and these wire cutters are old, <laughs> so I had to put a lot of pressure. But anyways, there you go. You see, you've got the one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna make one more, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you could do this ahead of time because I have some wire over here that I already pre-cut. And like, if you're gonna make several, you could just do it ahead of time. Okay, so going, there we go. So I'm going to take my paper and I've got my pages and I'm going to take the back of the book, okay? And I'm going to take this part of the wire right here and we're going to slide it into those holes. See how easy it just slides right in? And so I'm gonna do this on a flat surface. Okay, and we're going to take the other one and we're going to do the same. Just sort of pull them right through, just like that. Since we're going to be working from the back to the front to put the book together, so you see we have the book lying flat with our wires in, in place, and we're going to turn these pages around, okay? Our art pages. And so I'm going to take the last page of the book and I'm going to just slide it right in. See, that's simple. And then I'm going to take, because I have these divided into tens, I think I do, I may have to count again, and um, so I like to stack them up in tens. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I just wanted to double check because it looked like I put two together. So then you're going to take your white drawing pages or whatever pages you have, whatever kind of paper you use, and you're just going to slide that right over. And remember I said that I had 11 pages of art, so some of them I'm going to double up. So I think maybe here I will. I'll put two pages of art, or you could put even five pages of um, other paper in there if you want, some color uh, construction paper or something like that, whatever you want to do. I think maybe you could even put a little bit more paper in these books. So this is the fun part, you guys. And normally it wouldn't even take me this long to make them. It's just that, you know, when you're making it for a video, it takes a little bit longer. You really have to think about what you do when you're giving instructions. 
This is turning out really cute. And this is for my niece's birthday. She's also my goddaughter. Look at this art. It's so cute. And so I'm going to be celebrating her birthday with her on Friday. I'm really excited. Okay, so let's see. We have three more stacks here. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven more pages. So let's go ahead and double up here. Love this art. And so I'm really excited to give it to her. And so I'm going to show you the next one, how to make it with rings if you don't have the Bind It All machine, which I've done before. And they come out really cute because you can refill them. And I suppose you could refill these also if you just uh, remove the wire and put new wire in. So let's go ahead and do this. Two pages. And so, there we go. What was your favorite golden book? My favorite was Little Red Riding Hood. I guess you could say the classics. Uh, when I was growing up in the 60s, early 60s, mid 60s. And then I'm going to put this in here. I love Little Red Riding Hood. I love the three little pigs. And let's see. this Now sometimes you'll see that the paper, the holes may not totally match up, but we can still make it fit. Okay? So just carefully do that. And so you just have to work with it a little bit. And then if it's really bad, you can just use some different paper. I always have extra stacks of paper nearby just in case something like this happens. There we go. I got it in. Yay! So it bubbles up just a little bit. So that's up to you if you want to change that. Okay? And so I think it's okay. And so let's go ahead and put this title page in. And then we're going to put the cover on. Okay, so there you go. So now we're going to close this up with our bind it all. Okay, so the bind it all, you can punch the holes with this part of the machine. And so with this part of the machine, we're going to close these wires. And so I'm going to put it right in there and I'm just going to pull this lever and there you go. And then I'm going to turn it around, apply some pressure, and there we go. And then I'm going to clip these wires here. Oops, I see, see this is sticking out, so all you have to do is put it right back in, put it right back in, let me go right here, and you can close that up. And so I'm going to clip those little sharp edges with my wire cutters. Okay, so these little wires on the end that sort of are poking out, you can just snip them with your wire cutters. Okay, so nobody gets scratched. I'm just going to clip that, and then I'm going to clip this one at the other end. There we go. And this one looks, maybe I'll clip this one just a little. There we go. <laughs> My dog jumped on that one. And so there you go, you guys. It's really super simple. And you can see the artwork. And you've got your pages, your art pages. And you can use this for doodling, for journaling, uh, just as a notebook. It's just super cute, you guys. Okay, so I went ahead and put together the Lady and the Tramp Golden Book, and I really love the cover. But let me show you what I'm talking about. See how these did not turn out very well, how it sort it got too close to where it cuts that. And so I was really disappointed. And, you know, a lot of them turned out that way. So I decided, I just decided not to use them because, look, even there. And so I only had a few good pages of the art. So I decided just to go ahead and bypass on the art on this one. So it has 80 pages for drawing now. And so, you know, plenty of paper. It came out really cute. And But let me show you some others that I have. And then I'll go ahead and make the one with the binder rings. I think these are really cute for kids. The Thomas the Train and Superheroes. Here's one of the Cars Golden Books that I think just came out really cute. And Beauty and the Beast, a Disney book. And I especially like the vintage books, like the Jolly Barnyard. And I love the classic stories, like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Now I'm going to show you how to put together the journal using these binder rings. So I just went ahead and I cut all my paper pages. I cut and I rounded the corners. 
rounded the book page corners. I have everything matched up. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure with my ruler. So the book measures about eight inches. And so we're just going to go an inch and a half this way. So let me move this down a little bit. And so I'm just going to mark it there. And then we're going to do the same with the back cover. And I'm going to go one and a half inch here, just lightly with the pencil, and one and a half here, so that would be at the six and a half inch mark. Then we're going to use our punch. And my punch, I think it's called a crocodile. I'm not sure, but I've seen the crocodiles are a lot bigger. But this says we are memory keepers on here. But there's two sides. You can see the little hole here and this one. This punches through cardboard and stuff really good. So I don't know if a regular paper punch would work, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in here and where I have the little pencil mark and it punches really easily. And then I'm just going to do the other side. Oops, <laughs> the wind is blowing here you guys. And let me go ahead and put something on there to hold the paper down. So it's starting to get windy and it's been cloudy. It's supposed to rain, which like we really need the rain. And there we go. So we have the other side. So let me go ahead and do this one here. So there we go. So we have the holes punched. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the front cover and we're going to use your pencil and you can just mark the pages. So I think we might be able to go through these pages. There might be like 10 or 11 pages. So I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to do it on this side. Okay, and so then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the paper and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have all of the holes punched and that just took a few minutes. And so I'm going to do just like with the other one except we're not going to be using the uh, wires, we're going to be using the rings. And so I'm going to start from the back, okay? So I'm just gonna come back here. Now you do have to play with this a little bit. As I recall, these rings will slip around as you're putting it together. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm going to turn the art pages around and we're going to start with the last page. What I do like about these binder rings, especially, they're so simple to refill with more paper. So once you start getting the paper in, it settles down a little bit more and it won't wiggle as much. And so I'm going to take the next page and put that through. And then we're going to put some more paper. And I'm just going to put that through there. These are so much fun, you guys. Everybody loves these because they're so nostalgic for adults and then kids love them because I mean who doesn't like golden books right and so let me go ahead and finish putting these in and I'll be right back so now I have all the pages in there and so I'm just going to put the cover on I'm just going to slip that right through the hole and then I'm going to close my binder rings and there you have it isn't that cute and the pages turn easily, and so you really don't need a bind-it-all machine. But if you have a bind-it-all and you want to go that route, you can. But I really like this way, too. And there you go. Since I'm on a roll here, I thought I'd go ahead and use these Mother Goose cards that I bought a long time ago. I think I paid like a dollar for them. Anyways, they're really cool. Let me show you them. I picked out two of them. They're made out of this cardstock that's pretty thick, and I always thought they would make really cute notebooks. And so I went ahead and cut out the paper, and I rounded the corners. Let me show you some of the other cards. And so let me go ahead and take that off, but you can see how cute they are. It looks like Little Boy Blue, and they have like fabric. You can feel the fabric there. Same with here, and right there. Little Miss Muffet, it looks like, I think. And anyways, yeah, and you can just feel the fabric. They're really, really cute. And look at this. This has to be Baba Black Sheep, right? Can you see the fabric there? I already have some pre-cut wire, and I already cut the paper, and like I said, I rounded the corners because these cards do have rounded corners. And the paper, I believe the paper measured seven inches by four inches, and that was super simple and super fast to cut. And so I'm going to, you can see, let me just push this right there. So you can see the card, it just measures perfectly right there. So that's going to be simple. I hope, let me cross my fingers, I don't want to speak too soon. 
And so there you go, there's the punch right there. So let's go ahead and do the other one. Okay, we're gonna do this one, but I wanna do the top. I wanna make sure I get the right side and not have it upside down or backwards like I did the other one. So, but you know what, that happens and, whoa. Okay, so I held that down and that looks fine. So I'm going to go ahead and punch the paper. We only need one wire, so I'm going to set that one aside. And remember, we want one, two, three, four, five, six. And so I'm going to use this for the, let's see, I think I want that for the back cover and this for the front cover. And so we're going to start with the back, remember, just like with the golden books. And so I'm going to put the wire through, and then I'm just going to put the paper in, just like that. I'm really gonna love this, I can already tell, but you know, I was thinking, you can use playing cards. I have a really cute paperback book there that I think I would like to use. And so, let me get that in there, I'm talking a lot. <laughs> and so, but yeah, you can use almost anything, you know, that you want. And you can come up with some really cute little notebooks. But you can see how thick this is going to be. Isn't that cool? And so let's go ahead and we're going to put the top on now. The cover. We're going to put the cover on. So I'm going to turn this sideways so you can see what I'm doing. And so I'm going to show you this. See it come out right here, this little gizmo thing right here? And that's going to press it up against this little wall. And so I'm going to make sure this is flat down, face down. And right here. And then I'm going to press. I don't want to press all the way, but most of the way. And so just do it really gently, and there you go. And if you want to close it up a little bit more, you can. Okay, and then see the little sharp edge? I'm going to snip those off. So I'm just going to snip that off. That one looks okay. And so there you go. Isn't that cute, you guys? And you can make this in, I would say, in about 20 minutes. It didn't take long at all. And the paper, it was so easy to cut because I could get, like, if I was cutting four pieces, I got 12 pieces, 12 pages out of four sheets. However you choose to recycle your golden books or your children's game cards, there's one thing for sure, whoever is on the receiving end is going to totally love it. Thanks for watching, you guys, and happy crafting. Bye-bye.